So guys, here is a quick video on showing you what's the difference between a true RMS versus a normal multimeter. So this one is a true RMS multimeter and I'm supplying it with my function generator over here that is set to, you can see over here the frequency, oh, wait for a second, that was channel number two. So the frequency is 60 hertz and the uh, amplitude etc. Okay, so I've just like, I'm just like using my oscilloscope to measure it. Okay, so here on my oscilloscope you can see. Here is my oscilloscope and it is it has been connected to my function generator. Over here you can see a spaghetti of wires and over here you can see the RMS voltage that I'm getting on my oscilloscope reading on the channel number 2 is around right about 2.4, 2.7, okay 2.2 something millivolts and over here on the multimeter you can see I'm getting almost close to that value but on this one also I'm just getting a really pretty good value because over here I'm obtaining a sine wave out of the function generator but as soon as I switch to a weird kind of waveform like for example this is a square wave kind of thing of course my function generator cannot just generate a square wave now you can see now you can see over here the RMS has changed to around 1.83 volts and on my true RMS multimeter you can see it's showing me the correct value that's the 1.8 volts and it's also showing me the frequency over there, that's 60 hertz. But on this multimeter, which is not true RMS, you can see that the voltage is off. So that's the advantage of using a true RMS multimeter, that it shows you the true RMS of the signal that you are obtaining. And over here, you can also see how the waveforms are looking like. And on my oscilloscope, I'm also getting the true RMS because it's just using mathematical functions to determine the RMS. And of course, it's just like an oscilloscope is basically an, a multimeter on steroids. So of course, you can just like guess it from that part only. So this is how the true RMS multimeters differ from a normal multimeter. And of course, if I just change back to the normal sine wave, you can see again the RMS changes to 2.8 something volts. And on my multimeters, you can see the correct value. This one is showing a bit more accurate value as this one is a bit more accurate. Of course, it's just it's in its nature so <laughs> and over here you can see so that's all guys so that that's all thanks for watching my video and this was a really quick short and unedited video that i'm gonna post on youtube thank you for watching